Hello there, in this video we are going to be talking about the DJI OcuSync A system alongside the Goggles Race Edition and specifically the new firmware that DJI released for it last week as well as support for the Pixhawk and Pixhawk 2.1 and the Eagle Tree Fractor flight control systems. Looking at the new firmware, last week they pushed out version 1.0.5.0 that had a few updates, mostly for the goggles themselves. DJI say it fixed a rear issue of a blurry screen in racing drone digital mode. It fixed an issue where it occasionally caused video to crash when playing logs in storage, and that will be on the goggles itself. And they have optimized the frequency scanning algorithm for analog video transmission. And that again is in analog. Now I have checked that over the the last day or so and it definitely seems better at locking on to analog signals when using the channel scan on the goggles RE so that is a bit of a bonus. Next I'm going to talk about the flight controller compatibility and specifically with the Pixhawk 2.1 and the Eagle Tree Vector. Now I'll start with the Vector because there really isn't any good news with that one. I've been testing it on and off for the last few weeks and sadly there is no way to take telemetry from the Vector and put it into the Goggles REA system. Now the way the Vector works is it has a built-in colour OSD and as the guys who use that controller know it's one of the best flight controllers for fixed wing aircraft there is is on the market. It has a massive amount of options, especially over the OSD itself. Now, the sad fact is you will not be able to connect the camera from the OcuSync Air system onto the Vector because this camera is digital and the Vector system needs to have an analog one. However, there was some hope that you might be able to collect the telemetry output from the Vector or the Vector Micro onto the Air system and at least get some data. Unfortunately, I have tried it in both FR Sky and open telemetry mode in both ways and it simply doesn't work. So here and now as of today whilst you can use the air system on a vector flight controller you can only use it for control via SBUS and there is no telemetry output whatsoever. A while back there was some info saying that Eagle Tree intended to release Mavlink support for the Vector. However, there has still been no news about that. I have emailed John over at Eagle Tree because I have had some contact with him in the past. Unfortunately, I haven't had a response, so I can't comment if that's around the corner or if it's going to come. If it does come and it does give Mavlink support, you should then be able to get some limited OSD information on the OcuSync Air system, but you're not going to get any we knew the level that you're used to seeing from the Vector OSD itself because that basically allowed you to pretty much do whatever you wanted. Finally, I'm going to talk about Pixhawk support and specifically Mavlink because the OcuSync A system does work with the Pixhawk and the Pixhawk 2.1 controller that I've got on here. It does give you OSD information via Mavlink and you simply need to connect it up to one of the telemetry ports. Normally, when you connect telemetry, you connect TX to RX and RX to TX, you cross the wires and everything works as it should. Only when you do that does the telemetry work and come up on the goggles. Okay, just to look at this a little bit closer, I'm currently doing it on a Pixhawk 2.1. However, the process is exactly the same on a normal Pixhawk or a Pix Racer or whatever Arjabilet Pixhawk based controller you're going to use. It is the standard six pin telemetry port, so either telemetry one or telemetry two, and we are simply using three wires. The one on the left is our ground connection. We are then have our MCU RX and then our MCU TX. We are not using the MCU CTS ports or RTS ports, which are the two on this side here. You would simply ignore them. You don't need the five volt output either because the Pixhawk 2.1 is being powered off off my flight battery and I would not recommend powering it off this port at all because you could do damage to your Pixhawk controller. But you only need to use basically ground, TX and RX. Once you've done that, you will see that you get most of the normal information. However, there is one thing that doesn't work, and that is currently GPS location. You do get voltage, you do get current, you do get satellite count, as well as the altitude position. However, you're not getting lat and long, and you do get these when you're using MSP telemetry. So I'm not sure what the score with that is. Um, hopefully DJI will resolve that in a firmware update in the future, but but here and now it certainly isn't picking up 
both GPS and GPS2 position data out of the Mavlink protocol. I have double checked this and plugged it into a Tyrannus and done other stuff and made sure that that data is there and it is definitely coming through on Mavlink. It's simply that the A system isn't able to pick it up as it stands today. However, the good news is overall, apart from not having GPS, you are able to use the OcuSync Air system with a Pixhawk flight controller, and that should work with pretty much any Arja Pilot based Pixhawk flight controller. You simply configure it as you normally would for an, any telemetry at board rate of 5700, and you should get your normal telemetry output over Mavlink as you usually would. That is pretty much it for the update on the OcuSync Air system. As more updates come out in the future, I will do another video. To support the channel, there are some links for some of the things you've seen discussed. Please do use them and it helps me keep the channel moving forward. If you'd like to subscribe, please do click the button and I will do another video again soon.